Hi everyone. In this video, we'll go over how to use the Slack mobile application. First off, at the bottom of the screen, you'd see the different tabs. We have the Home tab, DMs, Mentions, Search, and You, which is your profile. Since we are here, we might as well edit our profile. To do that, you click View Profile and click Edit Profile. You can change display name or state what you do. You can also add your phone number so people can call you in case you are needed but offline. You are advised to keep your display name unique so you can be distinguished from others. Do not use a random name like Desmond as there may be a thousand Desmonds on the channel. So yes, use a display name. You can use your full name as your display name, but instead of using space as a delimiter, you use a hyphen or an underscore. So something like Isaac hyphen Sokari can be my display name. So let's save that. And you can see display name is now Isaac Sokari. You might also have to set your status at some point as you might have stages. Here you might have just use it as one when you get to stage one and set your clear after to don't clear so it doesn't clear. Also here you can have a status update with the icon. So let's say stage one. And save. And you can see now the status says stage one with the icon and the status does not expire. Let's go back. Now on the home screen, you can see all the channels here channels and some direct messages. Let's say we want to add a channel or we want to join a channel. What do you do? You click add channel here, go through the channels, see the channel you want to join. Let's say we want to join general or introduction. Let's look at the introduction. Click here, view a preview and click join channel. This is where you're expected to introduce yourself to everyone. These people are doing the right thing and it's good. So let's say I want to reply someone. We come here, click here to add a reply and we're going to be replying in threads as we do not want to clutter the general channel. So let's say, yeah, so let's say, hi Victoria. Okay, now we've typed out our message, but we'll make sure that it's on tick. This checkbox at the bottom is on tick, otherwise we would send it to the channel. Right now it is ticked, and if I was to send it now, it will also send to the channel, and I do not want that to happen. So I uncheck it, and then I click send. And as you can see, I have replied in the thread. It returns to the ch channel. And my reply is here, not in the thread, not in the channel, but on the thread. Now let's go back to the channels. We haven't talked about the most important channel here. The most important channel here is the announcements. This is where you find out all the updates and well, announcements as the name implies concerning the internship. Please endeavor to check this channel frequently as you do not want to miss out. Now let's say you have a message that you want to save for later or you want to remind yourself of something. You can set a reminder. Oh, there's something by 1.30. Remind me and set a time. Oh, it's already past 1.30, so it should have started. But we can't. But let's say we set it by 
135 or better still it will yeah 135 create and now slack but will remind us when it's 135 for us to attend that but yeah that's pretty much all you have to do we've we've covered how to edit your profile how to join a channel how to update your status and how to set a reminder one more thing we should cover is how to forward a message to your personal jotter right now let's forward this message to our jotter all you do is click long click the message click share message and then type your username my username is now isaac sokari which was the display name isaac hyphen exactly the display name and then you click send and to take us to the dm so now this is how you save items as you can see i have saved a couple of items that have already been sent it will always be here for you and you can delete it when you feel like thank you for watching this video and i hope it has helped you to learn how to use slack on mobile as you can see this is the reminder that we set yes it has reminded us to join this so i think that's all we need to learn for now you can always feel free to go through the application mess with it do not delete yourself from private channels though but yeah have a great day and happy learning